freedom. We all yearn for it. Kids love it. Dogs need it. Teenagers argue for it. Birds dream of it. Long ago, we crawled out of the sea searching for it. And now, we fly to the stars in hot pursuit of freedom. It has started movements, shaped cultures, and even brought down governments. It's what we all want. Freedom to choose, freedom to act, freedom to do, well, whatever we damn well please. And that's why the subscription economy is so powerful, because it fulfills people's innate desire for freedom, unshackling them from planned obsolescence, from inflexible pricing, from someone else's idea of what's right, giving people the freedom to pay what they want, when they want, and how they want, and then to change their minds. In fact, these new freedoms have changed people's expectations forever. And now the question is, will business be able to meet these new expectations? Only if they find their own type of freedom. Yes, to truly deliver on the promise of a subscription service, business needs freedom as well. Freedom from their old technologies. Technologies that were never designed with the requirements necessary to deliver the constantly changing products and rewarding subscriber experiences needed for success in this new subscription economy. An economy that has already become the 21st century's favorite. Business needs systems that can offer the freedom to meet the world's new expectations. The freedom to change products, services, and pricing, all at the drop of a hat. The freedom to grow, flex, and scale. And the freedom to build meaningful relationships with their subscribers. Freedom. It's what people now expect. It's what business now needs. And it's what the subscription economy will always deliver. <laughs>